Welcome to part four of a basic introduction to Delphi psychotherapy billing software. In the previous three videos, we discussed the main screen. We discussed how to add a client. Uh, we recorded a few sessions. And in this screen, we're going to talk about the session history screen. And this is all based on the prior three videos. I'm going to highlight the client, in this case, Hank, Aaron. Uh, I'm going to select session history. And here's a list of each time that Hank's been in. Now the first thing about this screen is that if we look here, we already goofed up. We accidentally recorded two sessions in the previous videos for the exact same day. And you have to be able to fix your mistakes. So I'm simply going to click delete the above session. Am I sure I want to delete the session? Yes. The other thing about this screen is it allows you to fix your mistakes. People make honest mistakes. And it may be that we recorded the wrong dollar amount for the first visit. So I'm going to edit that session and change the charge to 100 and save that. The second session may have not occurred on the 9th and we accidentally recorded on that date so I'm going to edit that and change the date of the session to the 10th and I'll save that session. So the client really came in on the 1st, the 10th, and the 24th. Um, I might, uh, the, the, the overall idea here is that we are simply editing any mistakes that we ever made in the past. Save this session and on this session change that charge to 100. Now the session history allows you to review any past sessions. Uh, when we recorded the sessions originally we had the ability to keep notes but you might have just recorded the session originally and if you want to edit this session we can come back later in time and write uh, reflections on a previous session or observations after the fact. So quite simply, you're able to edit any honest mistakes that you've made in the software. The other very powerful feature of this screen is we're going to click the, sec the second session which occurred on the 10th and I'm going to click on the button that says preview claim. And here we have an image of a completed claim form. This is designed to save you money or sa uh, save you uh, time uh, so you don't have to print forms to see what they're going to look like. And if you're doing electronic billing this is what most people are familiar with so you get to see what a completed claim form would look like. And here by simply adding the client, uh, recording the sessions, we are ready to send all of our insurance bills. Uh, we just did an individual claim here. Um, I'm going to cancel that if we want to see what multiple sessions would look like on a claim. We can click on the first one and then hold the control key down and click on the other three. I'll do a preview of a claim again and you'll see that those three sessions are all on there. I'm going to cancel that session or cancel that preview. So the idea behind the session history is it allows you to edit your mistakes and possibly write notes after the fact and get a preview of what claims are going to look like. Now the vast majority of insurance bills that you're going to send will not take place from this screen. This is uh, generally used to resubmit old claims that may have been denied. Uh, we'll talk in much more detail later on about the insurance queue which is going to take care of batch printing or electronically submitting all of your claims in batches. Another nice feature on this screen is of course we can print our session notes for any set, uh, sessions that we select um, and we keep a permanent record of every claim that you've ever generated in the past. Uh, this is very useful because insurance companies like to pretend that you didn't actually submit the claim even though you did and so if you need to provide proof that the uh, session that occurred last May was actually submitted, you have that proof from the review past claims. That's it for the session history. The next video in this series is going to talk about payments.